Hello viewers, big update today. Got supercharged now and it all runs and it sounds bitching. <laughs> um, sorry about the paint to be honest. I haven't really put any time or effort into getting it painted since I got it welded up. Uh, so it looks really, really scruffy. But at the end of the day, it's, if it's mechanically sound, it doesn't really matter too much at the moment. Uh, just go around into the boot. I'll show you my jazz fuel cell and the filler. I made uh, it looks a bit Japanese touring car sort of Castrol Toms I thought but it's got the number plate underneath on a spring um, now we've got the lift pump and that goes in to this ammo tin fuel cell I made and in there I've got a two litre swell pot I've got 225 Walbro pump down the bottom and a Bosch uh, fuel filter there. So it's all plumbed in with AN fittings. Cost me an absolute bomb to do it. But um rear firewall in the boot, it just got too hard to do it and it took up too much space. Whereas this way, at least I'm gonna have a little bit of room to put some tyres in or something uh, even though it's not the best I've ruined it to be honest but it looks cool it is so close that walk around into the car you can see the cage there these are Lexan windows now with like a bronze tint I haven't taken the film off yet because I don't want to get too scratched um, inside I've got a save out seat driver and passenger passenger one's got the head restraints um, I don't like them personally, but I didn't want my passenger to be headbutting me while I'm driving, so I put those those in. Uh, slightly different seats, but both save out ones, and I love save out stuff, so I went mad with the catalog. I've got save out door part door pulls with a uh, carbon fibre door cards, and save out steering wheel, and save out window nets. to stop me flailing about in the event of a uh, upside downy moment which you never know dear uh, inside I've got the vault cage it's all set up now Rainer Cliff did the vault cage he did an awesome job and uh, he used marked pipe bender to do it so we did it all in house it came out really well really happy with it probably going to extend it a bit more next time uh, once I've rerouted all the wiring I'm going to extend it for the front turrets but for the moment I couldn't really do that uh, the door door bars are double door bars and they sit right out to the inside of the door skin so it's got you've got a good bit of room down here which is nice if they were crossed they would be a lot tighter there so pretty stoked I use them inside I've got AAM UEGO gauge, um, a boost, I've got oil pressure and oil temperature. They're not rigged up at the moment, uh, apart from the UEGO AEM wideband, but uh, I've got a cube speed short shifter. It's very short shifting, in fact. I probably have to put the clutch down for that. And yeah, digi dash still. All the wiring's going to be changed when I put the. Uh, a ECU master black ECU in there got a standard one there at the moment um, going around into the bonnet of the car Ooh, it's now supercharged with the uh, Eaton M90 there we go all the intake butterflies are in I like to wedge the intake butterfly open because uh, I haven't got the recirculating valve working at the moment or vax because uh, I want to run the engine just as it is for now because it's not running boost into the into the intake so eventually that throttle body there will be um, modified and probably remove the, the butterfly in there and just keep there as is 
uh, runs through the intercooler here, down here, goes through the wing there, runs down through, and goes into this right here, which will be going there, through, and back into the intake. I've got a pipe for it at the moment, which I'll be fitting once it's all fully sorted. Um, I want to get rid of the recirculating as well for the uh, idle control valve if I can. I've heard that people have deleted the idle control valve and it runs okay after about 30 seconds, but to start with it runs like crap, so I don't really mind that too much. Uh, but it would make things a lot easier uh, eventually. Of course, this will be a map sensor, a two bar map sensor, and it will run straight through from here. Fits well, you've got the starter motor down here, which you've got to be careful of, and that's my recirc valve there. Oh, uh, my recirc, sorry, my idle control valves down here at the moment. Uh, it used to be under the head, but I had to move it clearance issues with a supercharger but uh yeah it's pretty rough and ready at the moment got a trust exhaust manifold uh strut brace i made i used an old oem one i think it, OP, omp one i think it was and uh, just made all these brackets and these to fit on the lathe at work um That's another view of supercharger pulleys. It's pretty close, but it does clear. Into the driver's side now. I've got the same save out pulls, come by door cards, um, save out seat. And this is at the trimmers at the moment, this surrounds, so I'm waiting for that. I'll probably get that back next week, so all the dials, uh, all the cruise controls hanging off. I don't use them anymore, but I sort of want to retain the look. So anyway, power on. Make sure it's out of gear. And Supercharged engine. As I said, it's not connected at the moment to the intake manifold. It's just pumping through. But I got it on and I rigged it up and see what it sounded like. It sounds really good. Around there. Where it's pumping out, you can really feel how much air is pumping through with a supercharger. So it's going to be really fun when it's uh, fully plumbed in. I've got to get some bigger injectors, of course, and I've got to use a new standalone ECU. But she's running. It's taken a long time to do it. And there we go. So thanks for viewing. Um, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be loading up a few more. And hopefully showing you some more progression with my Silica Supra. Uh, again, thanks for watching.